All right, here we are on the roof that, uh, at least on Xbox, I know is, is prone to um, glitch and the player will fall through and, of course, die because you're falling down about 20 stories. Um, I think I'm going to title this, How to Fix This Roof. Okay, I don't know if it's going to be a problem here. I'm on PlayStation 3, but if you're on Xbox, I know it's a problem. Um, I don't know if it's a problem for everybody, but it was a problem for me several times and maybe the, I don't know, six, eight times I came through the pit on Xbox, uh, I'd say at least half of those times I fell through the roof up here. Okay, what you do is right where I'm standing here at the top of the stairs, um, once you get up, it's uh, after you pass the uh, the first, like, I guess you could say set of catwalks, okay, past those pipes um, down there, there's a little raider place where you can sleep in a bed, which I probably ought to do here because I'm slightly hurt. Um, anyway, get to the top of these stairs and you see this, this long uh, flat roof stretching out before you. Uh, save right here, okay? And here's what you do. If you're on Xbox, and like I say, if it happens to me right here, we're going to get to see it firsthand. But uh, come over here, and usually starting about right here, and anywhere through this area, you'll you'll fall through. You'll just fall as if there, there is no roof there. It's like invisible, all right? And what you want to do on Xbox is go ahead and let yourself fall, all right? And um, don't even worry about letting it load. Just go ahead and uh, hit your uh, X button in the middle and go straight back to the dashboard. And uh, don't go back to the main menu, go all the way back to the dashboard, all right? And then reload the game. And while the game is loading, hold down your Y button. On uh, PlayStation 3, it would be your triangle button. But on Xbox, hold down your Y button while the game is loading. What that does is allows the game to clear the cache for itself automatically. Because uh, it can't junk up the cache with a bunch of trash stuff while you're basically sending a command to it. That's how it's, it's explained to me. But anyway, it works regardless of why it works. And uh, when you get to the, the, the main menu screen, um, instead of uh, going to load, just press continue. And what that'll do is that will spawn you uh, back where you saved and it will fix this part of the roof for you, okay? It'll basically load this area in with, I guess, the proper code or whatever and it'll fix it. And that is a fix that's always worked for me on Xbox. So there's your solution and uh, hopefully you've done that and you're back here with us and then we'll go ahead and clear the rest of this rooftop off of enemies. If that's... Uh, I think, I'll, I think I'm actually going to put that in the title of this video, and if that's why you were watching, then uh, that's about it for that, and you can carry on. I hope that was some help, but that is a definite fix for the Xbox, and uh, I'm only assuming it would be a fix for the PlayStation 3. Like I say, it didn't, it didn't just happen here to me, so I, I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't appear to be a problem. Decapitated. All right, so hopefully everybody's back with us and everybody's uh, glitch free. We're going to go ahead and clear out these uh, catwalks up here, which is interesting. There'll be two more raiders or wild men or whatever you want to call them over here. I deserve to miss right there. I've got a couple of these, might as well use them, right? Like that? about your pistol. What do you say? Call a doctor. We have a bleeder. I see about six pieces right there. Uh, I don't think he had time to bleed. In fact, that's not even him. I'll take that ammo. Thank you very much. Okay. Um... Go. I'm gonna keep the tattered slave outfit just for uh, old time's sake. Now, um, later on when we do the ingots, of course we'll see it when we get there, there are two that are hidden 
down here along this way and about the only way to get to them is to get around here and basically ride that pipe all the way down and then ride that corner down over there and you can get to the ground safely doing that and it basically leads you to ingots. I don't know if there's another way over the fence to get them. I've never found one. I'm not saying there's not but I, I don't think so. Anyway, all right let's get up here. Um, I was kind of hoping to have a few frag mines. Do I have frag mines? I really don't. It's nice to have. You can start, if you have frag mines, in fact, you know what? Uh, I should have checked before I even started the video. I guess I'm going to ride without them, but uh, if you have them, you can start laying them here because when you get to the top of this thing, a bunch of trogs are going to come up behind you. And it's nice to have them. They'll start knocking them out um, before they even get to you. But I don't, so maybe, uh, maybe there's... I remember having a few every time I came through here, so I either just never grabbed them out of the box or something. I don't know. See him? Oh! Sneaky attack. That's what I'm calling time. Sneaky time, sexy time. Alright, um, there is a turret up here, and there's a computer to hack it. Um, you can also activate that, and you can, if you can keep the, the raiders from destroying it, then, uh, let's see, where's the computer? I think the computer's right over here. Don't think the turret has aggroed on me. Like I said, if you can keep the raiders from destroying the turret, And you, and you don't destroy the turret, then it can uh, help you get rid of some of the trogs that are coming up the stairs also. Just knowing they're going to come behind you later. Go ahead and uh, put some, set some defenses up. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I'm totally lost. There we go. That'll work. I'll take that every time. Just give me the first word and let me be done with it. Okay, reconfigure. I do not want to deactivate it because I actually want it active. Um, let me get up here. Out of its way. Okay. Where's the raider shooting me from? Really not sure. Ah! Standing here running in circles like an idiot. Let me get it. Let me get up here and let him come up to me. some meds up here at the top too so I'm really not overly worried about the health as far as that goes Who's ever shooting at me? I'm almost dead. That's annoying. Okay, there's a crap ton of ingots right here. More concerned with this health right now. Okay, now let me go heal up. Um, well, that's it for those. Okay. Now, we gotta start seeing trogs on the way down. And once we clear those out, um, should be good. Normally, if you have landmines, you'll start here and boom, ding, and you'll see XP popping up. And it's like, you know, 5 and 10 and 12 points.
I think that's the turret shooting at me, but I uh, figured it'd be aggroed on the trogs by now. Okay, you can just jump down on this ramp. Honestly. Okay, you know what? I'm going to just jump down on this ramp. Okay, the trogs have no way to defend themselves against that turret. They can't shoot back at it and they can't reach it either. It's going to be still active when we come back up here later, but it's easy enough to destroy. There may be a few trogs alive too, but I can deal with them. I just wanted a majority of the enemies out of the way for when uh, we come to collect the ingots. And hopefully we, we can just make a straight run through. And uh, of course, without coming up here, you can't get up here to get these. And... Uh, you also got to make a trip back in through the, the initial door that you first came out, also. All right, and there we have it. So we're back on this roof, and then uh, you can you can reach this bridge earlier if you want. But uh, here we are now, and there should be a couple on this bridge right here. We'll catch those a little later. And if you had trouble getting on the train, making that jump, which we'll try it on the way up, but if you miss it, you can just come down here later and catch it from uh, across one of these rafters. You know, so we can come over here like this and you can just jump straight down onto it, all right? And then you jump across over here and there's a couple more here. But we'll, we'll do all that in a little bit. We'll try to do it in one, one swoop, even if it's kind of long video because I'm sure I can't get them all in one run. I, my memory isn't that good, but uh, we'll try. I think on uh, the next video we'll start with, uh, no, we'll, we'll get the ones inside last. We'll do, we'll do a circle, try to get them all, and if we've got, I think, 97 or 98, we should be good. Because I believe there's two or three in this building. Don't remember exactly. But uh, anyway, all right, we'll try to make the next video, uh, try to make it alive with uh, no stim packs and whatever health I've got here. All right, and uh, that's it. That is clearing out the yard and hopefully fixing the glitch for anyone who needed help who had kind of given up on it because uh, it wouldn't work for them. They kept falling through the roof. Hopefully you got a hold of this little bit of information and it worked for you and uh, you're able to fix it. And I'll catch up with you all later.